All right, you ready? Yep. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Start with the dishwasher. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everybody? We were live by the way. What's oh. up everybody? We are hey. back and we are in our kitchen. So we wanted to do this review. We got these appliances back when? What was it, December? December. Was it? Yeah, it was December. Yeah, it was before Christmas, I know. I've always hated our washing machine and our dryer for one simple reason. They were loud. So the dishwasher is like in the house and it's super loud. We have wood floors and tile everywhere. And I've always wanted to replace it, but then our old one started leaking. So I was just, I was over it. We went to Home Depot and got some new appliances. So while we were looking at appliances, the one thing that we couldn't figure out was, is this thing really gonna be quiet? Is it gonna be durable? Is it gonna work? So we figured the people that were looking at the GE Adora line of appliances would wanna know how this stuff is gonna stand up over what, where we had what, two, three months now? Yeah. It's February, yeah. So it's February, two, three months later, and here we are. So this is our dishwasher. We're gonna start off with the dishwasher first, cause this is what actually spawned this massive purchase we made. So one of the many things that sold me about the appliance is it's, it's sleek look. I wanted something that was very sleek and I wanted stainless steel. What I really liked about it was all of the controls, how they were all hidden. Uh, that was really important to me. The last dishwasher we had was really old and had all the controls in the front and I sometimes would hit them. So I really liked that they were hidden. Also with this one, what it really sold me was immediately was this bottle jets. I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I always feel like those shaker cups and things of that nature don't get cleaned very well. So I like the option of having a bottle jet cleaner, which I'll show y'all whenever we open it up. Of course, you have all your standard settings here, but um, that was something I just really liked about it. Um, so when we got it, you can see here, um, it's very deep on the inside, has plenty of room for all your silverware um, over here which I really like. Um, also, you have the option of having these pretty much on every single one of the places you put the silverware, but I use it, this one particularly because I like to put the knives upside down just for safety reasons, because I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself. Um, but there's plenty of room here for pots and pans. As you notice, it doesn't have that little piece that usually you see in old school dishwashers that comes up through the middle where the water turns and pushes out. Um, so it comes directly from the bottom, which I really like. So there was plenty of room to put large size pots inside the bottom because I cook a lot. And then the top, of course, you can put all your bowls, your glasses, etc. But you see this right here. Um, this was the bottle jet cleaner, which I really like because the boys a lot of times will make shakes and we have one of those little single shake makers and it was really hard to clean inside of them. So I really liked that and you can clip it on. Um, this right here was movable, so that was really cool to me. So when you have tall things or short things, Go you can it lift it up. Um, but this was kind of the hidden jewel, jewel or gem, I guess you could say. Um, we found out almost really after we had purchased it, is there's a place at the top, a little rack, where you can put your spatulas and knives and big utensils that you use to cook with. But the really, really neat thing is, is if you really need that extra space, um, you can just take this out and we just put it to the side and duh, you have a little bit more room. I have no complaints about it um, at all whatsoever. Um, I use a lot of dishware whenever I cook, so I can't say enough. My dishes are super clean and sparkly, which is really important to me. You know, most of these um, dishwashers, or at least mine before, there was really only one piece place for you to put the silverware. And this one, you can actually move around, you can put it in different places, but also it comes apart and you can make it smaller or larger just depending on your needs. Again, it is extra super quiet, uh, which is important um, to Antoine here. Me, I like noise a lot. Um, I'm one of those people that love noise and love the ambiance of dishwashers and washing machines going, which is maybe a little weird, but I, he loves it, I love it, just because it cleans my dishes. <laughs> um, so it's been a really nice addition. It really was the reason that we journeyed on and getting all the other appliances that we have. So that was the dishwasher. That was the main reason we went to the store to get something, but all of our appliances were black. And I'm the kind of guy that believes if you're gonna buy something, buy the whole set. Cause by the time you get ready to go buy another piece of the set, the whole thing is gonna be sold out. Then you kind of just stuck in this weird place. So. 
we decided to just go all stainless steel all in the same day. So we ended up looking at the next piece of the Adore collection, which was the stove in the microwave. Now I wanted a gas stove, but we would have had to transition over from electric and stuff like that. And the wifey here, she wasn't having no gas range in the house. So uh, nope. No gas, yeah, not so, having it. And since she does most of the cooking, you know, I'm more of the outside pit boss kind of guy. I get what I want. Yeah, she does what she does in the kitchen <laughs> and I ain't finna fight it. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about this stove. This was the cooktop that I chose. Um, it is an electric cooktop. It's not like the old school kind. Um, it's that ceramic top. So it's a little bit different for me when it comes to cleaning. But what I really loved about it was all the controls were here at the top. So they're not here where your traditional controls are um, in the front, like our old one. Uh, so the stove top is just really easy to control from right here. I will tell you, it was a little bit um, interesting for me because before, you know, you just have a burner, you turn it on, high, it goes from low to high and you have different um, places in between. But this one, it's really neat because you have a place for like, if you have a small pot, a medium pot, a large pot, which was really cool to me. Um, so of course, you know, this is for like a large, large pot maybe, and this is for a smaller one, but still, if you don't need that entire space heating, um, here on the controls, you see that you have that place for that outside, the large, and then the small is for that inside of the burner. And then your back, you see here, it goes from high down to melt, and it's just for one um, size pot. Then this was just a warmer here in the middle. And then of course it just kind of repeats itself as it goes around. So that was a little bit different for me at first, um, but I really have not had any complaints about it. It was just more getting used to it more than anything in the world. Um, so, so far I have just really, really loved the cooktop. Um, the oven uh, has all the settings that you traditionally see here where you just hit bake. You put in, you know, if you have 350 or maybe you want to hit it at 370. And you just hit start. It does have a conventional, um, a convection oven, excuse me, um, setting on here. I haven't used it yet just because I'm kind of old school and I just bake things and boil things. Um, but I really do like it a lot. I seriously have no complaints about it. I will tell y'all that there are a lot of different things about this cooktop that I did not realize. I just thought, oh, this is going to be so easy um, to clean. You can see here there's some imperfections. Um, these cooktops are a little bit more difficult to clean and to stay clean. So I work really hard at keeping it clean. I had to do a lot of um, research on how to clean it. One of the things, one of the products, um, there's a YouTuber and you could search, you know, um, cleaning ceramic cooktops. This was a recommended product and I really do love it. It has made it much, much easier for me whenever I clean, especially if I get something on there that's real gunky and I put something back on the stove when it's still hot and then it continues to burn on there. So you just have to be really careful with that. Um, this is fantastic along with a razor blade is your probably best friend when you do something pretty substantially as far as burning on there. I've done it quite a few times. And um, one of the things that's really been great for me um, as far as cleaning it is I just use um, here just these uh, Scotch-Brite pads um, it helps to just clean it really quickly in that uh, evening with just some regular soap. And I really have not had any complaints other than just trying to figure out how to clean it. Um, so it works fantastic. The oven, you can see here, um, it has um, two shelves and we have um, a wire over here because I don't use it that much. We took it out um, because I normally cook almost everything on this um, level right here. But I will tell y'all, it is something that you have to make sure you clean really well and take care of it. You can see we have some gunk in here and some gunk on the, um, the glass here. And it, it's just a matter of getting the oven cleaner. I'm, I'm kind of good at it, but I sometimes forget. So uh, again, you know, just trying to keep up with your traditional oven cleaning. Uh, but other than that, it heats everything very well. Love, love, love this oven. I mean, compared to my old oven where there was no telling how long it was going to need to cook. This is very good about cooking everything very thoroughly. And that's important to me because I'm real um, scared and skittish about undercooked food, um, especially when it comes out of the oven. It has a little warmer thing down here also. Um, we don't use it for the warmer box. Um, Antoine uses it for all of his cast iron stuff. I'm not real good at cooking in cast iron, but he is. So that's his little tools there. 
But overall, I mean, I just love, love, love this stove and oven. It has been amazing. It is, I couldn't have asked for anything better, me personally. Um, I don't know if there's, you know, of course there could be other things out there, but for me, this has just been perfect and I love it. And if you're looking for something great, here you go. Okay, so the stove and the oven are awesome. I love it, love it, love it. The next best thing I always say in the kitchen when it comes to cooking is our friend, the microwave. I love the microwave. It is awesome. Excuse me. Uh, hello? Oh, well, ah. well, we're doing the microwave, so might as well see how it works. Oh, okay. Just put that in there for... All right. Back. See, I told you it wasn't gonna be that long. So back to this microwave. Um, it is great. It's definitely functional, as you can tell. Somebody needed a quick bite to eat in the middle. Um, but it is the Adora collection as well. It has your standard controls on it for popcorn, a potato, steam cooking, defrost, etc. Um, of course, you have your express cooking here where you just hit one and it does one minute um, off. My last microwave went all the way up to six minutes uh, express cook, which is nice for me because I like to do a lot of the steam bags of vegetable, which I cook for six minutes. So I'll just hit five and then 30 seconds twice. And then of course, there you got it. So that's been, you know, just a little bit of a transition for me as far as that's concerned. Um, but the timer I use all the time, um, you know, for whatever I'm cooking, whether it's in the oven, the stove, uh, maybe it's something I'm even doing in the house as weird as it sounds or when I'm cleaning the cooktop that cooking um, That cleaning solution requires it to sit on there sometimes so I'll use a timer So it's just a matter of putting in whatever the time hitting timer and it just counts down um, One of the cool features about the microwave is that it will sense when you have opened this door and you have closed it um, if you have food in there or if you do not so if you were to hit one or to hit five or however long you need it knows that it doesn't have food in there and it will let you know that it doesn't have food in there. So that is a really cool feature um, just because you could hit the button, forget you put your food in there and then it goes and you look and it's not there. Um, it also on here has the vent. Um, this is really important for us when we make breakfast um, because some of the stuff that we'll be cooking does smoke a lot. So the vent fan, it just is a matter of medium, high, low and it turns off. When you open it up, um, it's all blue on the inside, which is something new for me. Um, all the microwaves I've ever had are white on the inside, so this kind of makes me feel like this is an oven, um, <laughs> even though it's not. So I really liked that it was blue. Uh, that was something that I really, really liked about this particular microwave. I know it's a little weird, but I liked it. Overall, no complaints about the microwave. It's really nice. Um, it's really nice that our handle actually works now because before our handle didn't work and you had to really open it gingerly um, because if not, the handle might break off and we had already fixed it once. So it's kind of nice to have a functioning handle. You don't realize how important that is until it breaks. <laughs> That was so cool. That was one of the coolest things I thought about the fridge is that it auto filled. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I really liked it. This to me is the best piece of the collection. It's the ice box, the refrigerator, whatever you may call it. Um, this I would say by far has been probably the biggest joy to me. As weird as it sounds, um, I love that it has all the functioning here with the water and the ice. Our last one only produced ice. So this one's been really great for me because I can actually get water out of it. And then the really cool feature, as y'all saw, uh, was the autofill feature. That's really neat um, whenever you're just trying to fill up really fast. And if you were doing something else in the kitchen, you could just get it to fill up. You'll see here, this is the Adora collection. It has the matching handles and it's really nice. It's the one where the ice box or the refrigerator part is at the top. Um, there's plenty of shelves here. As you can see, you can make these. They're adjustable um, up and down. Man, we should have took some of that liquor out of there before we did this. We need to. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Keep um, going. <laughs> okay. 
So um, I liked it because it was adjustable um, for the deep shelves here. And as you can see, you can fit a full size <laughs> bottle of tequila and vodka up in there. It's <laughs> Some <extra> gin. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, you, these are really deep shelves. They're fantastic. Um, they do a really good job. We have a lot of condiments, as you can see here. They're stacked all over the place. The other thing that this does come with, but we didn't get, was the butter dish. Um, you can purchase that separately if you wanted, but we didn't. Uh, we just put our butter up here at the top. The shelves are all adjustable to whatever you would like. So some of the shelves are adjustable and um, some of them are not. This one actually you can push up. I have a lot of condiments on here so I don't want to do it, but you can actually push it up and, and pull, push it up and push it back and it'll make more room here for something. We did that during the holidays because we were of course hosting Christmas at our house. And then the drawers here are great. You can see I have lots of stuff in there. And then this is another drawer that I use. And then the climate zone where you can have your Capri Sun, his beers, and then cheese, what have you. So it's great. It's really roomy. It's really big. I was kind of a little bit scared uh, coming from a side by side because I wasn't sure if there was going to be enough room um, on the inside, but there is. And you can see, if you listen, it tells you whenever you left the door open. I do that all the time. And Antoine actually yells at me because I leave the icebox open all the time. So it will ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, and he can hear it in another room, and he will yell out, close the door! I always get kind of mad at it because it's a tattletale. You don't have to open it one way or the other. I think some people always worry about that when you have these. You can open up one side versus the other. You don't have to open up one side and then the other to get to the other side. So that's a really neat feature. Quick thing about the ice capacity. Uh, for us, there's three people in this house and oh, the yeah. ice capacity has been enough. We haven't run out of ice yet, but no. I think you can get another box, right? Yeah, so this one, um, the ice is, ugh, the ice is right inside of here and it's just a little thing that you can just pull out but you can see it's pretty small. Um, so for a family of three, it's perfect, but if you have a larger family or you use a lot of ice in your family, you definitely probably want to get that second option. That goes in, that in, goes the, in the freezer part at the bottom, okay. yeah. So, but it's real easy to get out. Um, we've had to open it and pour it into a cooler before. And you can see here, you have all the controls for that ice maker and for the water. Um, you can actually lock it to clean it as well to lock the control so that you can clean this off so it doesn't get all gunky. And then um, you can see here, you can turn on a light if you need to, um, just to light the area. I don't need to do that as much because Antoine has all the automated lights in the house. So everything turns on for me um, whenever I walk through in the middle of the night. But then you go to the bottom. This was a huge change for me because I had always had a top freezer or the one to the left side. So this one is fancy. You pull it out and it's a big drawer and it has all of our stuff in it. Um, I kind of put all of our meat on one side and frozen stuff and their treats. And then up here, you can tell we have an issue with ice cream. <laughs> and um, so this and is where it And french fries. <laughs> so y'all can definitely see there's plenty of room um, for everything in here. I was really, really worried about that. And I was kind of worried about bending over. I know that sounds weird, but I was worried about bending over to get in here to get my stuff out. I thought that would feel weird or not natural, uh, but actually it feels really natural. It doesn't really bother me at all to have to get in there. It's actually easier to find stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's been a it's lot easier so to find stuff. It's so much easier to find stuff. Before I was always digging in the back of the freezer to figure out where I put something or I was having to get down real low because I have the drawers at the bottom to get out. This is just kind of nice because the drawers that are there, they're open. So when you look in, you know where everything is. And as long as you have some type of organization, it normally works. Now, if you do have that other freezer, I mean, excuse me, the other ice maker, I believe it goes right in here, if I remember correctly. So this would be a bit smaller because you would have your second ice maker right here. So um, definitely no complaints, easy to open, easy to access everything inside of it. Um, it has been fantastic. I would say, you know, one of the things that's probably been the hardest for me when I transitioned to stainless steel has been cleaning it. Um, it gets, 
fingerprints on it and watermarks on it and you you want to keep it clean and nice just because sometimes it just make, gives you that feeling that it's not very clean uh, today actually was the day that I cleaned it so y'all are in luck but cleaning it was super easy it took me a while to find a product I really liked um, but I use these little wipes and then once you wipe it down I just use a little um, whatever this is called a microfiber cloth and just buff it off and it does a really nice job I, I really like it because it's simple you can watch tons of YouTube videos you may have your own technique for cleaning it that's fantastic but I need quick and easy and that was quick and easy so I love this fridge it's been fantastic I really love all the appliances um, they have been a game changer for me I cook a ton I really do I cook probably four to five days a week maybe six uh, it just depends so I use the heck out of this stuff the last three months so I do hope that this helps y'all a lot um, if y'all are out trying to make a decision on what to purchase for different appliances for your kitchen I know it's a hard thing to do it was for us um, so I just hope that it helps y'all a little bit my favorite appliance has got to be the refrigerator it fits full-size alcohol bottles up in there. It fits a little beer up in there. <laughs> and then I got my ice cream. <laughs> All but the it, things. <laughs> but anyways, man, we just wanted to share with y'all our experience with the GE Adora Series appliances. Anyways, thanks for coming to hang out in our kitchen with us. I'm definitely no expert in this stuff. I ain't no expert either. You stole my line, man. We ain't experts in this kind of stuff. but Just it, great users. She keeps <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you had a good time hanging out in the kitchen with us, you make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and we'll see y'all at the next one. See ya!